Gary Ostafi. And, uh, we chatted a little bit earlier, Gary, and you're telling me that the, the farm's been in the family a long time. Maybe give us give us the history of the farm, if you could. Well, I'm the third generation on uh, this Ostafi farm. My grandpa homesteaded here in 1920, and uh, mom and dad took over the farm from him in, in uh, 1958. Uh, just going back to Grandpa, he settled here in 1920 and had 11 kids and farmed uh, two quarters of land. So it's a little different than, than today. It was more survival back then than, than uh, farming is more big business today, I guess. Yeah. So so now you're up. Uh, you're up to uh, what acreage now? Um. Now we're up to 7,500 acres, uh, seeding oats and canola, barley and wheat, seeded pet peas and. Uh, Tried some lentils a few years ago and canary seed, so kind of a mixed mixed bag of crops. How has seeding gone this year? I know you've got to start anyway. Oh, it's it's gone fairly well. It's been probably in the past uh, two weeks we got up into that uh, 50 to 60 percent complete. So it's been actually excellent seeding conditions um, compared to the past two years that we've uh, gone through. The last couple of days have probably slowed you down a little, though. Yeah, hopefully we'll get back to some sunshine here pretty quick and uh, get that second half of the crop in, in, in the ground. Sounds like you go with a very varied rotation. You mentioned the, the different crops that you've grown over the years. What are you growing this year? This year we'll, uh, we'll plant uh, half of our acres into canola. We'll plant um, some wheat, some oats, and some, well, hopefully more barley. And you're, I mean, we're expecting to see a, a sea of yellow. Everybody keeps saying that, that uh, you know, with canola prices the way they are, that it's it's tough for guys to even maintain their proper rotations. The, I mean, the urge is there to plant more and more and more canola. Yes, our uh, original plans were probably more than half of our acres into canola, but um, I, I guess we'll just just throttle back to half of the acres and uh, hopefully prices will be up there next year for canola as well and we'll just stick to our rotations. So do you do the, uh, the farming yourself or uh, I think you have some guys helping you? Yeah we have uh, excellent excellent uh, staff um, some guys are in, involved in in our farm and, and into some uh, equipment construction equipment that we help so just a real real good mixed uh, mixed bag of, of uh, farmers helping us and retired help. We have some uh, some young helpers, uh, so a lot of experience and now we got a young fellow joined us this year as well. So um, yeah, ex excellent group of guys. What are your thoughts on